Hey Air Signs, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a little Halloween reading for you, a little weekend reading. Um, yeah, we're going to just take a look at possibly what might be spooking you a little bit. Alright, so I'm using The Witch's Wisdom Oracle by Barbara Michael John and Flavia Kate Peters. All right, so that's the deck that I'm using. All right, so as usual, we might be looking at three separate stories or we're looking at how all of these come together. So you might resonate with one more than the other. That one flipped over. Okay, so let's see, what do we have? What could be spooking you? All right, we have security. This came up in the water sign too. So you might be feeling insecure in some way or not safe. All right, so let's take a look. What could be making you feel insecure? You might be craving security in some way. We have seven of pentacles. We have king of pentacles. And then we have Ace of Wands. Hmm. All right. You know, I feel like um, you're feeling a little bit insecure about what is coming next, about something that you feel some new passion for. You might be... Um, this might be an earth sign, okay? It could be this King of Pentacles here or the energy of King of Pentacles. You might be feeling a little bit uh, lacking around somebody, okay? You might be feeling insecure because maybe there's a difference between you and this person as far as financial status, okay? I feel like you have um, a new passion for somebody that you're a little bit insecure around. Um, I don't feel like you need to be. I don't, you know, you might want to ask yourself why you might be feeling that way, okay? So let's see. Does this tie in some way? We have feminine, lady goddess. All right, so let's see. What is this about? Could be a feminine here who is experiencing some type of insecurity. And then we have three of wands. These are really beautiful artwork. This is the haunted house desk deck. We have six of wands. So again, we're in line with this. Um, there's a lot of passion here, I feel like, from the feminine. Wow, an eight of wands. You know, and these go almost in order here. So three of wands. It's like this is about your expectations around a love connection or potentially a victory in love. I feel like you have, um, I feel like, you know, I honestly, I feel like somebody has said something to you. I don't know if it matches up with your expectations around a potential love situation. And I feel like the way that you're looking at this is skewed for some reason, okay? It could be a self-worth type of um, issue here. You possibly not feeling as good about yourself as you could because there's insecurity, I feel like, around somebody that you're dealing with that you feel has either the upper hand with you or has um, abundant financial status that you may not have. I just don't feel like it matters. I feel like you're worrying about something or nothing. <laughs> worrying about nothing here. 
Let's see. And then we have clearance. All right, so what is it that we need to clear here in this situation? All right, so Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. And then the Lovers. And then King of Swords. All right, so we have King and Queen of Swords here. Okay, so air signs, you know, I mean, and then we have Gemini here in the middle. Wow, what is that trying to say? You know, it feels like, um, I feel like you might be dealing clearly, you might be dealing with an air sign or you might be dealing with a, uh, an earth sign or fire sign for that matter. I don't see any water here at all except in this feminine card. Um, I feel like this is saying that this, whoever this, whoever is the feminine in this situation needs to clear their insecurity here, needs to clear um, how you're thinking about this connection. I feel like with the king and queen of swords here, both of you are very much in your head, okay, about lovers about the connection, about the attraction, okay? It's like, it almost feels like there needs to be like a, a reboot here because I feel like both of you have a certain impression of, of what is happening here and it's like taking you farther apart. It's not bringing you closer together. So what is it that is spooking air signs here? It might be the depth of the connection itself. What is spooking air signs here? Four of Cups. Scorpio. Death card. And then we have the Magician. Okay. What the two of you are thinking right now is that you're both, that you're headed towards an ending here. And like I said, I feel like you're, you both have misperceptions or something is happening where you're both going off in a, in the wrong direction. You're thinking something wrong about this connection. You both have a false perception of what's happening here. And what is spooking you is that you feel this person moving away from you and you're manifesting this in your thoughts. That's what's going on here. Four of Cups can be a breakup card, right? And it's because you're choosing to focus on, you know, these three cups versus this beautiful Ace of Cups over here, which you're not focused on. You're focused on what could go wrong, why this could end versus, you know, why we could build this up. And it's coming from your insecurities, okay? You, you have a lot of wands here, okay? So a lot of masculine energy, but this is feminine energy. So I feel like, you know, this is about action that might have come towards you some type of communication that came towards you. It maybe it matched or didn't match your expectations around love, or this could be something that you did as the feminine, which you might be worried that this is going to cause an ending versus moving this forward together. We have the king and queen of swords here. Could be definitely a very... Um, Definitely a soulmate connection here, okay? Connected with the lovers, which is card of Gemini. So Gemini, this could be you for sure. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, what needs to be cleared though is that a good portion of this connection is happening in, in your heads, okay? I feel like it is based on some type of communication, maybe passionate communication that happened, 
that threw this connection off. It threw this connection off. It gave you both false perceptions of what the other is thinking. And that needs to be cleared up because I don't feel it's accurate. Okay? All right. So air signs. That is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, you can certainly reach out. Um, otherwise, have a very, very happy Halloween. And I will talk to you next week. All right? All right. Thanks so much. Much love. Bye.